Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on January 23rd, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun, as we had some hyperactive outgoing sunspot regions watching on the right-hand side and as well earth facing as i showed yesterday that big plasma filament right there plasma shot from an m-class solar flare but looking at the sunspot regions on the right hand side outgoing they are interacting right now big plasma shots look at the size of those filaments stretching from the surface amazing images here 304 angstroms of some heightened activity outgoing from multiple sunspot regions. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, no new coronal holes developing. Just active five sunspot regions right now. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report as the flares have been in sea range most of the day. Amazing images here brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. If you're enjoying this information shared and imagery, please give a thumbs up, get in the comments section, maybe timestamp your favorite part, and share with a friend. Let's grow. Having a look now at these sunspot regions, 3961 and 3959 are the ones that are interacting with each other right now. The other Earth-facing sunspots did quickly form, but are quickly diminishing now. Watch them in the equatorial region. Speeding up a time-lapse imagery here of the sunspot regions in motion. Some pretty big black spots turning away. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. Solar winds are coming in at 451 kilometers per second right now, still above average. Solar X-ray flux showing two strong C-class solar flares today. Nothing since the M-class yesterday. Proton flux is static. Geomagnetic activity, KP3 today. As we are expecting the geostorm over the next 48 to 72 hours. ISWA space prediction spiral showing yesterday's coronal mass ejection. No new CMEs to report today. Heightened activity is outgoing right now. Cresting into view is pretty quiet. Lasco 3 showing the last 48 hours of imagery. As we did have a couple CMEs taking off. And they are here now with this imagery. Brought to you by Lasco 3 at Soho and NASA. Again, credit to all these developers and researchers. Tonight's Aurora view line versus tomorrow. Definitely going to see something tomorrow if it's clear. As far down south as South Dakota. And maybe even Michigan. Having a look at earthquakes now for the past 24 hours, we've had some deep activity. Look at those elevated rings across our planet right now. One of them here, 4.4 Fiji, 613 kilometer depth. And then Sola, Vanuatu, 5.6 earthquake, even deeper, over 600 kilometer depth yet again. And then Ratung, Indonesia, 4.5, pretty deep there. And then a notable deep earthquake here, India, 126 kilometer depth. Largest earthquake the past 24 hours, 5.7 Luluen, Philippines, notable activity and deep, Makuni, Japan. So we've seen in the past, larger shallower earthquakes follow. Please stay aware and prepared. 4.4 earthquake here, even more northward towards California, Delta, Mexico border. Seismicity continuing at Kilauea as the lava flows have stopped in the caldera. 4.8 earthquake there, Central America. Still way too quiet for that region. 
and then earthquake coming back again, rocking Awash, Ethiopia, as they've seen two volcanoes awaken that haven't been awake for hundreds of years. And we've seen a lot of that recently. Over the past five years documenting here on YouTube, multiple volcanoes in Iceland, Canary Islands, La Palma, volcanoes awakening that haven't been awake for hundreds of years. Dormant volcanoes awakening, mud volcanoes awakening. And right now we have 72 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. And these are the earthquakes around the world for the last seven days. We've seen a lot of deep earthquakes the last 24 hours. Heads up. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by windy.com and our active and erupting volcanoes. Of course, heightened regions through Kilauea and Mexico. And still Colombia region. Peru. We're looking Australia, Southeast Asia, South Africa. No new plumes to talk about or show here. And then Europe, South America. Seventy-two active and erupting volcanoes across the world. Record amount for twenty twenty five. Solar cycle, 2025. Now let's have a look at world weather brought to you by windy.com. Strong system heading towards Ireland and the United Kingdom. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, it will be making landfall with hurricane force winds. Ireland, northern parts of Ireland, seeing and getting the brunt of it. United Kingdom will get wiped as well. Strong systems all a week long coming out of the North Atlantic and eventually high pressure ridge builds in but it's going to be a cold one as the polar vortex is stretching around towards Europe as well as we've seen the frigid temperatures here minus 20 to minus 25 degrees Celsius without the wind chill and these cold winds are going to be coming around again and eventually will be Enveloping Europe here by February 4th into the 5th. Definitely going to be seeing some cold, extreme cold, but nothing like what North America and mostly Canada will be seeing. Deep freeze will kind of go away over the next couple of days. Roller coaster of temperatures. As you can see, warm spells coming out, <clears throat> pardon me, coming out of Alberta as those Pacific lows are still scooting northward. Strong high-pressure ridge off the coast, keeping things very dry, and all the systems moving northward over Alaska. Now let's have a look at North American systems. Over the next little while, high-pressure ridge building in. Most of the, the low-pressure systems are coming from the north. Watch towards the beginning of the month. Colorado low. And then Alberta Clipper. And then another Alberta Clipper. So definitely going to be seeing some wintry systems at the start of February. We're looking Australia, South Africa. Some strong systems developing here. And looking at the forecast for Madagascar, South, South Africa, New Zealand, and as well northern parts of Australia. Look at these strong lows here spinning. Forecast for the long range here. It's going to be a wild extreme weather event starting February 1st into the 3rd and 4th as a cyclone makes landfall Northern Territory of Australia. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody worldwide affected by natural disasters, aka the wildfires going off in California. Dangerous and horrifying situation there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody. Maybe here looking at systems over South America, the Atlantic, and as well infrared imagery showing the hot spots and the new fires through parts of Southern California. Some pretty 
big flames there. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected. There's been tens of thousands evacuated from yesterday's fire northward. This is a new one. This literally just started firing away this afternoon at about 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now.